LSU's Terrence Lair has morphed this spring from solid collegiate sprinter to bona fide Olympic medal threat. And while Laird is now breaking through and grabbing attention with a run of sub-20 second 200s, he's dropped plenty of hints throughout a long, winding journey to the top tier of the sport. During his time as a prep, Laird won three Pennsylvania State titles and a 2016 AAU title. He graduated in 2017 with personal bests of 10.45 and 20.83, and with experience of racing against some of the best in the nation. After competing against Noah Lyles in a prelim heat at an indoor meet in 2016, Lyles, then a senior in high school, told Laird, you were the first person who wasn't intimidated by me. Aside from his fearlessness, Laird stood out with his slight stature, five foot seven, 130 pounds, and his tremendous acceleration. Penn State's Aaron Tucker, who recruited Laird to Penn State, compared him to Canadian Olympian Andre de Grasse. For a guy his size, Tucker said of Laird, the way he applies force to the ground, you're talking about something special. Laird stayed at Penn State for just one season. He ran 6.78 in the 60, 10.42 in the 100, and 20.41 in the 200. He finished second at the Big Ten Indoor Championships in the 200 and qualified for the NCAA Indoor Championships. Outdoors, he only raced in three meets before ending his season. The next year, Laird transferred to NJCAA-powered Heinz Community College in Mississippi. The highlight of the season, though, came in the 200 when he ran a wind-dated 19.64 at altitude at the 2019 NJCAA Championships. Laird transferred to LSU for the 2020 season. The SEC is considered the dominant sprint conference in the NCAA, and right away, Laird established that he could run with the best in the nation. Indoors, he posted season bests of 6.66 in the 60, 20.3 in the 200. Laird rebounded from a false start in the 60 at the SEC Championships to win the 200 meter title. He was one of the favorites in the 200 heading into the 2020 NCAA Indoor Championships and perhaps on the way to becoming a budding U.S. Sprint star. But the meet was canceled amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Laird would have to wait. A year later, he was even better. Indoors, he chipped away at his 200 meter personal best, eventually dropping it to 20.20. At the NCAA Indoor Championships, he finished second to Matthew Bowling of Georgia. A setback, certainly, but it turned out to be a rare loss for Laird. Two weeks later, in the outdoor season, Laird ran 19.81 of the 200 at the Texas Relays, the fastest time in the world. A month later, he ran a wind-dated 19.82. Terrific times, but could he match them in the championship season? It turns out the answer was yes. At the SEC Championships, Laird swept the sprints, running 19.82 in the 200 and also running a wind-dated 9.80 in the 100. As he enters the NCAA Outdoor Championships, Laird's 200-meter time is still the fastest in the world. His season is proof that he's far from a one-race wonder, and his progression in the 100 shows he's a complete sprinter. But his best chance to make the Olympics is in the 200. Reigning world champion Noah Lyles is the favorite. Kenny Benarek, who also spent 2019 competing in the NJCAA, has been stacking up wins this season as well. And then there's Laird's fellow collegians, like Joseph Van Bulla, Matthew Bowling, and after that, an Olympic podium might sound presumptuous, but it fits with everything else he's done in 2021. After all, Laird is following an unofficial track and field rule that has existed for decades. Be good at the NCAA meet, and you'll have a decent chance to make the U.S. team. Make the U.S. team, and you'll have a decent chance to get a medal.